Hello and welcome to my 18th attempt at completing GTA 5 without taking any damage. I have a max HP of 1, so any damage from any source will immediately kill me. I also want this to be a no hit run, so Trevor's special ability is disabled, because while you take no damage while using it, you do get hit by things. I have successfully completed every single mission without taking damage, but I haven't done it all in one go. My current personal best for an entire run is 3 bits of damage and therefore 3 deaths. But after every failure, I invent new strategies to make things more reliable, so hopefully this time, finally, I'll get through without taking damage. Now that was a 10 out of 10 intro. That kind of intro can only come about with so many failures, so many intros. It's the only silver lining to my inability to succeed that I can get good at the intros. I mean, one can hope that it'll be newsworthy that I get through this game without taking damage, but I can also hope that intro was so good that that itself will be newsworthy. Kotaku tomorrow, writing articles. Dark Viper AU, master of the intro. Perfect intro. At the beginning of one of his no damage runs. He failed immediately like five minutes later, but that intro, it's pretty good. So as per usual, Brad and Michael will be my human shields and I'll try to kill everyone while they're in cars. It's taking the car so long, that's weird. Random. I have not put these cars in a good spot to get these guys. Ah, oh, you're kidding. Where is he? Okay, I haven't been shot in prologue in 10,000 years. <sighs> it's so embarrassing. I won't equip for the day now. Joy. Don't die this time. I've never died in this game. Played this game thousands of times, not died even once. Hopefully not creating myself a wall here. It is important to let those cars go to the side or you can't kill the next set of cops as they come in. I also can't sprint as much because I don't have any HP to eat into. <laughs> it's terrible how they get out of the car even though they're dead. Scares me like a significant amount of the times. Okay, easy peasy. So I'm gonna go over here to bypass those cops over there so they don't shoot and kill me. Because they did at that one time. Where do I think the first death will be this time? Uh, I think I'm gonna fuck up fairly early. Probably... I don't know. Because every mission just seems so... fine now. Like, it's always a surprise when I die. Okay, grab this gun without being shot. Step one. Step two, shoot this guy. Step three, kill Shins. Shins. Okay. All the Shins. And now I wait for Lamar to kill this guy. Because he's tricksy. Took a bit longer than normal. And then we kill these guys from a distance. Where is he? There he is. Oh! <laughs> so what I used to do is just hang on the side and shoot people through a small hole where they definitely can't shoot me through. But because I've done this so many times now, I've just become impatient and I've just been actually moving out and shooting them, believing that there's no way they'd prioritize me over Lamar considering how close Lamar is. It's just impatience, man. Hi, I'm your biggest fan. Did you go around and talk to all my other fans and compete with them in some kind of a contest to find out that you were actually the biggest? If not, stop making false claims, man. Facts don't care about your feelings. What? Well, he deserved to die there. Uh, I was fairly certain he was dead. He definitely was not. That is super embarrassing. 
Now that I have embarrassed myself at the very beginning of the game, uh, you can guarantee that this will be the successful run. So it's it's like a, a it's a strategy, you see. I've embarrassed myself, so this is gonna go on YouTube. That means the game knows I'm gonna be embarrassed, so it will let me succeed. Meta strats. <sighs> okay, grab the gun, don't die, and take this seriously. Okay, so I'm shooting through here again, even though the odds of me getting these shots are like a million to one. See, it's a thing that I say sometimes. One in a million chance, millions to one, trillions to one, trillions to one chance, hundreds of trillions to one, trillions to one, it is millions to one! Ooh. Ooh. Ah, oh, you're kidding me, dude. The mom might die now. They're both sitting so far on the left. Ah, oh, come, just watching the map! Ah, <sighs> oh, you... They're hard shots, okay? Because you're looking at the map and you're like, are they gonna cross, are they not gonna cross, and... Ah, oh, God. I didn't do that badly, okay? So, is Simeon going to kill my run? As he does once in every 20 runs or whatever. Oh, he went for it. He went for it. He wanted it. He wanted my run to die so badly. But thankfully not today, Simeon. Not today. Okay. Let's hope these guys do not spawn. I haven't failed in in a while, though. Okay. If they did spawn, I would have just got out of my car and sprinted away. I would have just run and been like, Franklin, you handle this shit, man. You go you got him, man. I believe in you. As always, guys, day is a little go, getting my Uzi here with a bunch of attachments to hopefully block bullets. This will help me with the guys on the jet skis. Also important is getting the silencer for when I'm doing the setup for the jewel store heist. Okay. Oh, look at you two together. What a lovely fucking couple. Right, he's talking about my gun. He's talking about the gun, chat. He's not implying that me and this young boy are somehow in a relationship. That, that you think I'm gonna let some guys write off? Terrible. Okay. Got my little Uzi here. Time to not die, and immediately succeed with perfect shooting. Oh, and... Daddy, you just what? Him. What?! Did you see that?! I was perfectly on target! I sprayed the entire clip! Had I just stopped shooting for a moment and fired, I was- I would have won! But I just didn't, I didn't, I, it just in the moment, I didn't conceive that you could be on target and miss every shot. Oh, I'm still so mad about dying, man. I can't believe he didn't die. Oh. Yes, Tanya's boyfriend or whatever is called JB as a reference to Justin Bieber. Everyone knows Justin Bieber is into people like Tanya. Justin Bieber, well known for being into, uh, methods. Okay. Simeon was kind before. Is he gonna be a dick now? Nope. He passive. Ah! Ba 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 If this was a speed run, I'd be very angry. I'm just happy to have uh, got there. <laughs> Don't spawn, or I'll be very unhappy. And you won't like me when I'm unhappy. I complain a lot, incessantly, even when people tell me to stop. <sighs> here we are again, chat. Don't fail me, game. I'm doing my best out here. Okay. Thank you, game, for not being a jerk. They're both dead. I can't believe this. 
So, we're doing the do smart setup here. Uh, I can do it without getting the cops on me, and it is far safer than carbon rifles. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneak faster. It's making some noise there for some reason. That was not nice. No one cares, though, which is good. What? I mean, once I get to the mission, I should just lose the cops anyway. And I hope that does not impact my ability to not get the cops while on the mission, though. A helicopter spawned and a cop spawned directly in front of me. Uh, if there's cops there, that's not good. Are you kidding me? I'm going to get seen. Okay. So, my problem is, even if I go onto the mission, it won't despawn those cops. And so then anything I do on the mission will just be seen by those cops. So I guess what I have to do is lose this. Like, oh, okay, just don't let me up then. That's a, that's also a fine game. Fair, fair enough. Okay, so I've lost the star now, and I guess I'll just drive away to despawn the cops. Like, surely this is just far enough, right? Then I go back. Actually, not sure that was really far enough. Uh, so I might just get fucked here, chat. But the game once more just being a colossal dick. Not just a normal dick, a colossal one. Are we good, game? Are you gonna freak out? Are you- The door has heaps of space, game! There is heaps of space for the door! You could fit a family of ten in the space for that door. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, not this mission, dude. I- This- This- This, this, this mission has killed a lot of runs lately. You're in the truck with the I don't like it. Run, Kato! Run! On you, kid. All right, you got it down? I got it. Because you use too much gas on these. What's it? Don't That's some defense what mechanism. Yeah, so I'm collecting all the money because I need to buy myself a car later and car upgrades and whatnot. Because both Franklin and Mike will get more money, the more that you steal. <sighs> Please don't screw me, game. Please. So as always, I'm taking my little route here uh, to avoid the cops. But it's not a perfect route. I still have to cross over one street. And for that street, I will use Alt Strat. Alt Strat is the thing where you hold down the character swap button. Which, like this, which causes the game... Okay, we'll get a little bit closer. Like this. And it causes the game to move very slow. And it has trouble loading in assets, like guns and bullets. It, it only really works if you have very low distance scaling, so you change in the graphic settings. Uh, but it basically makes so enemies have a lower chance of being able to shoot me. Uh, but the downside is, the game is really slow, it's very hard to drive, I can't shoot my gun, I can't change my camera, and I can still die to melee hits if I'm running past people. So it just makes a handful of spots a little bit more secure. Get out of the way. Car, what do you what do you know me? What are you what are you doing? This guy here. This route I'm taking is the speed run route, by the way. It makes it so there's less cops in the uh, next section. I'm not concerned about it's it's fast, of course, but I'm not concerned about that. So this meets up with where it expects me to come out, which is the end of the sewer. A bunch of cops are gonna spawn in just as I'm about to go into the sewer. Uh, I can't kill all three, but I can kill one and use Ultra again. Again, remember Ultra Strat just makes it less likely that they shoot. They can, under some circumstances, still shoot. So it's still in my best interest to take out one of them. And so I tried 57 bajillion strats to make this work well, and it it just doesn't. I'm going to have to use alt strat here again. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm in first person and I'm ducking. What this does is it merges me with my seat, because the game wants to give me a particular camera angle, but the only way to do that is to physically move my character into my seat, so there's less of me to be shot by these cops here. But even with that, 
bug, glitch, whatever, uh, these guys were still in rare case to shoot me, so I'm still better off just using ult strat here. I oh, haven't lost the cops. Okay, finally. Jesus. Okay. So I'm not doing long stretch here as per usual. The reason for this is that Franklin has very few weapons unlocked. It's one of the few missions that you can leave for a very long time and not do. So uh, I'm going to do it hours from now when Franklin is far more decked out. Instead, I'm going to go to Trevor and do Mr. Phillips. So the first thing we do here on Mr. Phillips is I drive down to somewhere over here and get myself a sniper rifle twice from the map. I can't simply buy it, but I do need a sniper rifle for the strategies that I have for the mission. I can't buy it because not unlocked, obviously. My sniper rifle. But it. Okay. But it. Okay, so the new strats here, for those who haven't seen them, are uh, rather than activating all the enemies, I drive down here and park my car here, right? And again, because of what I was mentioning before about the way that, uh, like how the game handles first person, I stand here, I, cr I, I go into stealth mode and go into first person and see how uh, I can barely see over the top here. When I'm aiming down the site, I can see over perfectly. Uh, it's not popping my head up, it's popping the gun like above my head. So the amount of my head that the enemies can hit is like a pixel while I have perfect vision. It's funny, I could actually do, do I want to try doing something new? I could do the, this strat. I'ma do it. I may regret it. I'ma do it. Watch the entrance, boys. No one leaves without my express permission. Please go. I didn't move into first person there. God damn it. Okay. Now I duck and avoid the uh, biker here. The biker drives far enough away that he despawns, so I don't need to kill him. Okay. Now I run up here. Now, I think I failed this last time because I missed like three consecutive shots. I have like thousands of years to get these guys. But last time I think I hit the handlebars like a bunch of times. It's gonna go over as much as possible here. Perfect. Okay. Hooray, Mr. Phillips didn't kill the run. And I even did some new strat that I probably shouldn't have done, but still. <laughs> it was cool, you gotta admit. Always happy to have Mr. Phillips go well. I'm nervous for the rest of this Trevor section. I mean, I wouldn't say the rest of it, just obviously nervous Ron and uh, Trevor Phillips Industries. This first one isn't the worst in the world, it's just, if I get clipped, I die, you know? There's not much I can do about it, if I just get unlucky. So the main fear here is just that I get hit when I'm throwing the grenades at the beginning. I've made it a little bit more secure because I'm breaking the window with my weapon, but there's not much more I can do uh, other than what I'm already doing. Having the extended mag on this weapon does help me in the next part, but it's, it's mainly the grenade thing that's scary. Back, right, left, middle. Back, right, left, middle. Okay. Doing these with a grenade launcher just for safety.
Okay. Not too shabby. But you can see as those bullets are flying over my head as I'm firing those grenades. Just if I happen to pop up at the wrong time, I'm screwed, you know? But now for the scariest mission, Nervous Ron. It sure does make me nervous. <laughs> it's not like we don't make that joke every single run. <laughs> I forgot the C4! So I need to taxi, grab myself some C4 and come back because I can use it to make things a little bit more secure for me. With one of the vans. Of course, I can't just buy a C4. Have to get it from the map. So, similar to Mr. Phillips, going to the side here and uh, out distancing everyone and killing them as they run towards me. The scary part is people can run from the side. Oh crap. Oh, should be loaded. Your peace, gentlemen. Oh, that was really quick. So there should be one more. Ah, uh, he should be in the middle there. That was like the quickest that's ever gone. She didn't move up, so he moves a little bit. But let's not get overly happy here. Where is he? Because for all I know, it's actually one of the guys who runs to the left. There he is. Okay. Nice. That was really smooth. Now, for where to put these C4. Um, it's this rock. One, two and a half. Nice. I second guess myself every time. It's this rock. One, two and a half. Okay. So what makes this difficult is there are two guys that they can shoot me before I can shoot them. And if they hit me, there's of course nothing I can do about it. Even playing this perfectly, there is a still, there's still a chance I will die. I can ignore the first guy here because he doesn't shoot. Ah, come on! <laughs> no! No! Oh. See, as I said, there's, no, there's nothing I can do. And it's so rare, dude. So rare. Stop the car. So here it is, guys. The first part of the run that I can die on. 1% chance, but if that 1% chance happens, I can do nothing about it. Let's hope. Okay. Good boy, Simeon. Ah, oh, don't do this to me! Well, now I can still die. It's unlikely still, but... Thank you. Okay. Hooray for not dying. Woo! Here we go again, guys. Got my little Uzi here, and let's hope for the best. Oh my god, I almost failed. With every passing moment, the panic rose up in me. I could feel it growing. That's terrible. At least I'm not dead, but goddamn. I was shooting that guy in the neck for like a solid two seconds there. How does the neck not kill? All humans have this very strong amount of bone in their neck to defend their windpipe. I'm surprised you uh, don't know about this. The, the neck is the last part of a person that you want to shoot or punch in any capacity. It's, the, it's their strongest point. It's like the turtle shell, you know. Rockstar's implementation of that into this game is just reasonable when you think about it. Hope you end this one with zero deaths. Me too. Not optimistic, though. Saw a guy by the 
not been doing very well in the RNG department lately. So this is where I died yesterday. There are two guys here that can shoot me before I can see and shoot them. It is unlikely that they do so, but they did yesterday, so, you know. Got him, okay. No! Come on! Two days in a row! Ah! Oh! <laughs> no! Oh, why you devastate me this way? Just let me win! You see, see how quick those shots came through? Like, I, it, it just, it, it doesn't matter how fast I fire, I can't see him. Oh, the pain, you, you it, it is such a unique pain. Like, it's, it just feels awful. Runs dead. Yay! Oh. There's a small frame there where Jimmy was standing weirdly. Did you catch it? Or did you let it slip? Yo. You feel a death coming? Hold those feelings off until nervous run. Okay. <clears throat> Better reload. Oh crap. Crap. I'm dead. I just get so nervous. It doesn't, Franklin. It doesn't. How'd the last run die? With sadness. Lots and lots of sadness. Someone asked me, do I have a girlfriend? I can't talk about that stuff. I'll lose so many followers and subs. <laughs> no, I don't have a girlfriend, dude. What? You just giving me the cops for no bloody reason? Oh my god, and there's a cop right there? This is nonsense. I'm just gonna wait out the star. One star takes like 10,000 years to be removed, though. How's it going? Ouch. So just like in Mr. Phillips, I'm out distancing all the enemies and uh, killing them as they come to me. Because they can't shoot me because I'm out of their range. Crap. I know he shot there, but he, I'm, I'm still out of his range. Oh crap. Oh, there is. Shit. So embarrassing. I don't deserve to win now. This was the worst I've ever done this. By far. This van's a bit weird. It doesn't like to explode. Uh, even with those C4, it won't necessarily explode, but the C4 will kill the enemies as they get out. So there's two guys immediately, one behind this van and one that spawns over there, and uh, I can't kill either of them before they have a chance to shoot me. So I just have to hope they miss or don't shoot. So doing something a little bit new here. Gonna use ult until I can actually see him. He's still got his shots off. That's not good. At least they've got the C4 there. Because normally... Oh, this is actually very bad. They didn't die. It's terrible. Where is he? Why didn't the C4 get them all? That's awful. Ah! That was some really, really bad RNG. That thing blocking me. Them not getting hit by any of those C4. 
I was 5c4 and it killed one and didn't even blow up the fan. So I'm using ult strat here. There is one guy on a bike with a gun. Uh, he can shoot me. He can also shoot through ult, which is why I'm trying to angle my tail towards where he is. So if he does shoot, which he normally does, uh, he'll hit my tail and not me. Uh, he is not normally there. At least he's on the wrong side though. Let's see. It is weird that I haven't even successfully completed one run, and yet I still have such high standards that even when I succeed, it doesn't feel good enough for me. My shooting has been awful, but I'm happy I got through it. Especially considering the amount of bullshit that those last couple of missions threw at me. So what I'm doing now is going into Crystal Maze on the very first scene, it is impossible to get the cops and you can go anywhere on the map. So I abuse this to go and get myself a minigun from the uh, military base and a tank as well. And then I use the tank both on Crystal Maze and future missions uh, by storing it at Trevor's airfield afterwards. Yeah, we have to abandon Cletus guys because uh, if I go on Cletus's mission, I have to finish his mission to keep the minigun. Leaving it, I lose any weapons that I acquired during the mission. I'll make the sounds for you, chat. Hey, bud! What you doing? Nothing. Yoink. The minigun is for blitz play and hood safari. It's for two helicopters. So getting the tank now, I have to make sure to get the tank away from enemies because while they won't normally aggro onto me, they will when I'm stealing the tank. I learned that the hard way. So I want a tank just to be around this corner somewhere. Dang. Might be here for a while. Ah, here we go. It's probably fine where it is, but I'm just gonna let it go a little bit further. <laughs> just use the tank that I'm wearing, that's very good. Oh boy, is that another tank? Imagine if that other tank had shot me, like it aggroed onto me or something. God damn. How many brothers you got, got you in in red red freaks. Freaks. Let's see if I beat the O'Neills one more time, guys. We can only hope. It's possible for my shots to ricochet off the windows. So I'm careful not to, uh, shoot directly straight. There, there's one more in there. Think that got him? I almost burnt myself with fire last time, so I'm gonna wait like a solid minute here. I've got the time. Let's just check for fire. Ah! I just realized Trevor's still speaking. Oh my god. When he said it's over, I was like, wait a second, he doesn't normally speak. That could have been very bad. Where the fuck is this guy? He only just appeared on the map when I went inside. Where the fuck is he? This has never happened before. He's not moving, he's not appearing, he's not doing anything. He's still, he's still alive because Trevor's still speaking. I think Trevor's no longer speaking? Okay, I'm gonna wait for fire and to see if Trevor still speaks. So he's not speaking, so I should be good. Will there be fire though? Okay, that was very poor by me not realizing that Trevor was still speaking. At least I didn't get punished for it. Ah. So now I'll store this at Trevor's airfield and then move into uh, Friends Reunited. 
I'll come back for you a little bit later, Tank. Don't you go anywhere. Okay, no speed run strats. We stealthy. I am so scared that I'm gonna stumble. They didn't actually go in the house, does that matter? I mean, it disappeared. It went on like the tanker that's kind of connected to the house. As long as the yellow dot disappeared, it should have been fine, but ow. Oh. Let's go. Now that that's over, let's get out of town. I love how he says, it's not over, and they explode. Like, I guess that's over. <laughs> so this mission is a little bit scary. Should be okay, though. How you doing? Okay. Both those guns fired. Despite neither guy coming anywhere close to firing themselves. Ah, oh, shit. Why do all their guns fire? So this guy is really annoying. Is he gonna find the door quickly? Is he coming out the door? Is he... Is, he's on the door? Is he gonna make it? Is he's going? <gasps> Good work, friendo. He's stuck on the other door. Here he comes. Ah, oh, these shots, dude. This next guy's really annoying too. There's nowhere close to where I am. Please, come to me. I am prepared to be amazed. This is fuck. Okay. So get the SMG. Shit. Need to take the stairs. This building is in I'm moving back in after each shot to avoid possible shots from their guns as they die. Where is he? It's slightly different what I did there. Okay. So, I'm killing all four, aren't I? This is the really scary part. The helicopter is bad, and bad things happen. I don't know what helicopter that is. That's a really bad helicopter. Hope he doesn't have vision on me. He does not. Don't have a black arrow though. Uh, I should have had a black arrow. That it didn't give me one as a bug. <sighs> I can't turn. <sighs> this helicopter at any time could violate ult and kill me. Getting out of here using ult is gonna be really hard. Driving like this is really, really difficult. It is impressive to me that this worked in practice every single time. But having done it in runs, it's worked like, what, 50% of the time? The sooner I can get my back in the direction of the helicopter, the better. I could go for the hairdresser, but I think that's unwise. I could probably drop it at this point. So not in any hurry, you know. Ah, uh, this black car's gonna cause me issues. I have no idea how fast I'm going. You're ki it's it's perfectly it's perfectly situated to fuck me. You could not have done it perfect more more perfectly. I don't know what's in my way now.
What shot me? What shot me? From where? I, t I took off. Oh. The helicopter was a million miles behind me. What, what could have shot me? Where's this shot from? It doesn't even look like it's hitting me. It's not the black car, it's, it's coming from up here somewhere. Like, it's, it's diagonally upwards. And there's nothing there. The helicopter's behind me, though. And shooting down here, like, it's not even, it's not even hitting me. Why am I brake boosting everywhere, chat? It's completely pointless. What am I, some kind of a speedrunner? Ha 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 I didn't take out the weapon. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Is it already gonna be in my hands? Fuck. Okay. It was already in my hands. I didn't need to take out the weapon, as it turns out. That is not how I wanted to find that out. That was scary. I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry, chat. But I succeeded, right? You can't argue with success. Even though that was really, really pathetic. That was really sad, but okay. So this biker guy, uh, I don't need to kill him. He just drives away and despawns. So the biker should be gone. So the new strat I'm doing, which may blow up in my face. Okay, not knocking him over. So I'm gonna do. Move my car here. And then, because normally I duck behind the tree, but this car, I can do the exact same thing I just did there to give myself perfect cover to kill these bikers. What? There aren't cougars in missions! I heard it, but there aren't cougars in mouth. This, this is millions to one. This is actually millions. I have been playing this game for 8,000 hours. I have never seen an animal kill someone in a mission before. I haven't even seen a cougar in this area in a mission. <laughs> I want to laugh and cry at the same time. I'm just so emotionally overwhelmed. Nice. <laughs> Don't get killed by a polar bear. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. It's almost like I've done this before. <laughs> what, this isn't your first time playing? Why are you playing a single player game for the second time after you've played it once? You should play a new game. So crossing the snow here to avoid the cops because they shot me one time. You know what? I feel like I'm going to beat the train this time. Oh no, I didn't actually beat it. What a surprise. So, I will miss... I, don't, see, I, can probably, I can probably shoot this guy right now. Uh, okay, well, as I say, I'm going to miss these shots, okay? These are very long shots, okay? And you can barely see. I just, why, did, why, why do I pre-fire? The reason... The reason it's so hard is because you, you don't know where they're going to move, and you're so nervous that they're about to move that you just start firing. Because you know you've only got a small window to get the shot. It's okay, Matt. It's fine. No one on the internet has ever been mean to you because you missed the shot. <laughs> hey, he lived! It's very rare for him to live. He normally dies from any small amount of damage. Bye, friendo. That means you can get the repo money. <laughs> That's true. Because at the end here, he says, you can't repo the assets of a dead man. But he didn't die. 
I am crashing so much this run. I'm happy that crashing has such a tiny, tiny chance of actually doing damage to you physically. But if this is the run, people are going to be on YouTube like, this motherfucker got no damage with that driving? What a bitch. Probably just got very lucky. And they won't be wrong. I think I've crashed like four times this run. And that's really embarrassing. So I've embarrassed myself to the extent where I'm guaranteed to succeed. Because reality is going to be like, look, Matt's going to eventually succeed in this. We may as well have him succeed once he's embarrassed himself. Stop crashing. Like, it's, it's like the odds of taking damage from a crash is so infinitesimally small. Like, I have to be going at the speed of sound blindfolded and hit something. In the entire time that I've been doing this, I think I've died from crashes like twice. A true dying from a cougar is also very unlikely, yet that happened. That is true. This is the speedrun mouse. I do it primarily because it despawns some cops at the end. I'm sure people who watch every one of the YouTube videos is probably sick of my explanations. Yes, Matt, I've heard you explain alt strat like 900 times now. But you, you know, the new people, guys, the new people, they don't know. This might actually be the most common mission to kill my runs. Which doesn't necessarily make it the most difficult mission, or the most likely mission overall. It's just simply because I do it the most. It's the first mission that comes up with a significant chance of failure. And because it's so early in the run, I, I do it the most, so it kills the most runs. Will this be on YouTube? No, I don't have a YouTube show. Thinking about making one? No, but everyone who makes YouTube content, they just fucking suck, so I don't want to be, really want to be one of those people. Twitch for life. What about a clips channel? <laughs> Can you imagine how much of a tosser that you would have to be to have a clips channel on YouTube? Come on now. I have more self-respect. <laughs> Swagta? You mean... I put my hand down and my thumb grazed my space bar and I killed myself. Of all the ways for this mission to kill me, 99.99999% of the run, grazing the space bar wouldn't kill me. This physically hurts. This hurts so much, chat. Like the game didn't even beat me, I beat myself. Why is... <sighs> You have no idea how much I want to succeed in this run. You could not conceive of it. I go to bed every night being like, man, I want this no damage run so bad. Appear before me with a billion dollars and I'd be like, okay, fine, I'll take the billion dollars rather than getting a no damage run in GTA 5. I, I would take that billion, but a million, I'd still probably take the million, but like 50 cents? Yeah, I, I turned down that 50 cents in a heartbeat to get myself a no damage run in GTA 5. <laughs> That's just how committed I am, chat. Simeon, don't be mean. Don't do it. Just let me succeed. I deserve it. You know I do. Was I too slow? So I recently moved my desk and uh, part of my keyboard was off my desk. And so when I press Q, it didn't go down as fast. I do think, though, that I still pressed as fast as I could. Easy peasy. I have determined that I do not like the way my table is now. Ah, oh, no! Ah. Well, shit. Um. Oh. That just makes it go even lower. Okay. I will need to fix my desk in the cutscene. I hate this desk so much. Apparently, I pressed one of the presets. I have no idea how tall my desk meant to be. Okay. 
try and fix my desk. No! Make it worse! Ah! Why do all the buttons make it go down? Uh oh. I think it's meant to make noises like that. His death sucks. Never buy an Omni desk. They're the worst things in fucking history. Can't wait to find out all the things that I just broke doing that. Okay, chat. Let's do this. Let us not die. Please. You're kidding. That delay every single time. It stops you not being able to shoot. And then a wave bumps. He goes in a direction you don't expect. I'm happy I'm still alive there, but that was not good shooting. I have... What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? I guess it despawned the train, but the rest of the train was not in the despawning area, so it's just stayed on the tracks. Wow. I've never seen half a train before in my life. Well, fair enough game. Fair enough. Ah, okay. uh, no! <sighs> Did not want to go in the tunnel, want to take speedrun routes. It despawns some cops at the end. Where'd he go? If that had hit me, I would have been so mad. He normally spawns on the other side. That was so fucking scary. <sighs> yeah, don't jump. Keep away from the spacebar. I'm actually very nervous about pressing the spacebar. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Blah. I know all the Trevor's yelling is about the Ortegas, but it sounds like he's really angry about the stairs, and I love that. What's the tank for? Uh, for cooking drinks. I, I, I completely blanked. Will you tell me the I, 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 my sarcastic answer was terrible. Let me try it again. <clears throat> What's the tank for, you ask? It's for cooking barbecue. There you go. I mean, what else do you think a tank is fucking for? That's what I'm saying. It's for killing people. So this next mission is very scary. The helicopter spawn can really, really screw me. And the stress that I've made have not seemed to have worked to uh, prevent that from occurring. Didn't the, a recent run die to the helicopter spawn here? I think it's still worth taking the car though. Like the running strats I did before were even more vulnerable. Because if I get the car at least and I get the helicopter on me, at least I have the car to protect me from the bullets. Oh! God. The pain. I don't have any more special ability. I hope I have enough. Will it just give me a little bit more? That'd be nice if it would do that. It did not. Uh oh. Is that a car behind me? No, there's not. Oh, it's the worst helicopter possible. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm dead. Um, I'm actually dead. Um, I'm dead. 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 Should have taken the car. They're gonna find me. I know what to do. Um, this is the worst thing that possibly could happen. This will take 10,000 years. And we have the old strat all the way into that car. An old strat all the way. And you gotta keep in mind that old strat isn't perfect. At any time here I could die. I should've just gone for the car. Are you 
really telling me that he is getting on the ladder? Are you insane? I was in a separate fucking hemisphere. That's a bullet. Michael's face is concentrating so hard right now. Once I'm in the car, there's a little bit more of a chance because their occasional shots can hit the car. So I think uh, we really should um, go back to testing this. I have no idea why in practice, like a hundred times in a row, perfectly fine every time getting that car and now it's just like shit every time. As much as I would like to go through the hospital, It'll make the turn afterwards a lot harder. Because driving like this is extraordinarily difficult. You have no idea how fast you're going, no idea how much turning you have. It's mainly just the helicopter that's the issue, because the cops in the cars are less likely to fire. And I'm still going past the police station like this, goddammit. There shouldn't be cops there, though. There's none that will shoot at me, but... Okay, there was apparently something there. I'm losing control. There's apparently something there too. I think I can switch to first person to uh, bring things back, but... Is it worth the risk? Okay. Like, you have to imagine the helicopter isn't on me anymore, right? But I haven't lost the cops. Okay, I lost the cops. Okay. So that was... Awful. The most awful awful that has ever awfuled. So I made it through, not in a way that I really enjoy, but I mean the game just continues to be a dick to me with that helicopter spawn. Eighteen inches deep inside. So this mission is scary because of uh, the helicopter. Everything else here isn't too bad. I don't think I've failed anywhere else except for that helicopter. So I learned that simply using alt strat here is not sufficient. I have to switch to Trevor and then use alt strat. He got hit. Did you see that? I had just switched away as he got hit. So it didn't count as it hitting me. I had already taken control of Trevor. <laughs> I am so happy that I reloaded before uh, I, I switched to Michael back then because it gave me six bullets instead of four. I killed that helicopter on the fifth shot. That is so bad. Like, I, I, I floundered so much. Like, I always hit the helicopter, but I never got the pilot. Goddamn. Surely it's been long enough now. I'm, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. These ones can't hit me. Hey, nice. Hey, okay, let me wait. I should wait this helicopter for. God damn. So close to failure. Oh. <laughs> uh, I can't know for certain that that same shot would have occurred had I switched later. But whatever the case may be, at least I'm not dead, you know? It, like, I mean, it's possible that had I simply kept holding ult, that shot never would have fired at all. But...
So now I'm gonna be Franklin and we can finally do long stretch and hood safari. I will deck out Franklin's uh, with get him a bunch of guns and upgrade his car as well before I go though. Have I solved derailed? Yes. <laughs> Have I solved the space bar? Oh man. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> I think there's a major obstacle to your uh, completing this, Mr. Dark Rapper, and it's a guy named Dark Rapper. He seems to screw up your runs very frequently. You should probably figure out how to uh, get him to stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that guy, man. Always ruining my shit. Easy. Easy. And now on to Hood Safari. Something less easy. Wait, did I say Hood Safari? God damn it, you know what I mean? We're in long stretch. We're going uh, Hood Safari afterwards. They're, they're basically the same mission. Call them Long Safari from now on. So here we are on Long Safari. This first room can be done by Stretch and Lamar by themselves, but if I, if I don't help them, it takes them forever. Get the people in the corner here. One last one. Please don't tell me he's stuck. He's stuck behind the door. I hate when this happens. He's moving. He's, ji he's jiggling there. Is he gonna make it? I'm gonna see if like moving in here or something helps him move. I hate throwing grenades and stuff in this small room. Oh, it helps. <gasps> Yay! New tiny optimization. Or I got lucky. One of the two. So take cover here, shoot these guys as they come through. So I need to just trigger these two to move through and then run back immediately. They actually came really close there, what the fuck? Just gonna move over here. They can kill them all themselves, it's just another thing of me helping so it doesn't take forever. Who is this guy? He looks like he's so near Stretch, but he's not killing him. Stretch? Finally. So there's one guy on these stairs, but I can just trigger Lamar to kill him if I just move down a little bit. Good stuff. These guys, sometimes I get all four, sometimes I just get two. Did I get none? I mean, I did get them all. I didn't even see the red dots appear. Weird. I am just that good, apparently. So, this is the harder room because I can't really help. I can just get one guy in the corner there. And I have to rely upon Stretch and Lamar to not die. Which is potentially scary because of how long it took Stretch to kill that one guy in the previous room. I'm hearing so many grunts of pain, but none of them are dying. Okay, they got one more, so I'm gonna move in now with Ulse to my place of cover before the rest of the guys spawn. Here comes the boys. <sighs> they got that extra guy from before. See, like, I can chuck grenades, and I can can help, but it's not necessary. And I hate putting myself to additional risk. They're getting rid of him pretty quickly, though. Let's see if we can see down here. Yeah, there he is. You want to kill him? He's right there. No? Okay. Right. Get him. Get him. Okay. There might be one more that spawns. There is a chance when I kill the next enemy as early as I do that Lamar and Stretch will not move forward. This is usually indicated by them being slightly merged into their cover. They do not... Lamar might be merged, Stretch definitely isn't. This should kill one guy. Give me the cops. Okay. Okay, kill both these two through here. Okay. Go stretch. 
Don't be a dick, Lamar. Looks like I can move him a little bit. I shouldn't have risked it. Should have let them kill that last guy. I'll move up more and come back and hopefully that helps. Hey, here's the eggs. Obviously, I don't want to have to go and explode him off this spot if I don't have to. So I have to tinker with this for a little bit. It looks like I'm going to have to explode him though. This fucking fire scaring me. Nope. Wish me luck, guys. Okay. Yes, okay. Snapped him back to reality. So I'm gonna go through this door and quickly back. So, if I'm too close, the helicopter can shoot me. But if I'm far enough away, I can just barely hit his tail. Am I not close enough? I'm definitely close enough. Am I blind or... There it is. Sorry for a second there. There it is. This is never taking this long. There it is. Finally! Wow. God damn. So that helicopter doesn't shoot, so that's fine. Now I'm going to go back around and grab my car. Did not mean to blow that up. That was scary. Hello? B bullets aren't made like they used to be? I, uh, okay, I was like, okay. Getting a bit nervous there with every shot that's in somehow killed <laughs> the two guys. Jesus. And we're home. And now for the much, much scarier Long Safari. Ah, <laughs> oh, this mission. Oh. This is my least favorite mission that I haven't failed on in a bajillion years. It's just so nerve-wracking and so long and there's so much tiny risk. I can hear me yelling now. No. So I'm gonna immediately start by pressing old here. And running to the side. There's a tiny, tiny chance I can be shot here. So the difficulty here is Lamar or, or Trevor will die if I don't help. But if I help too much, I'll get shot and die. So it's a balancing act of how much I want to risk myself to increase the likelihood of me getting through. Because if I don't get through on the first try, then any risk I did on the first try was wasted risk, you know? And the safest thing that I can do, chucking grenades, has a risk that I either dislodge the cover that my allies use, or just outright does damage to my allies. Uh oh. Oh shit, I'm dead. I have never challenged him before to kill him. I could have legitimately actually died there. I didn't even know where he was coming from. I was just judging based on the map. The only reason I didn't go back is because I wasn't convinced I could climb the fence in time and get the cover. So Trevor flashing here does not mean he's low HP. It means that uh, I've just, I'm just in a particular spot. There's another guy coming. Oh my God, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay, he's gone away, good. I've, I've never seen a person at this point go for me. 
They're not getting many. It's not going well. Hopefully no more spawn. Because I haven't moved very far forward, so they... I, I may not have hit the trigger. Did they get that guy? He dead? The fuck? They weren't on the map, but they were running towards... Are these the infinitely spawning guys? Because they shouldn't be able to spawn at this point. Okay, quickly switch to Trevor and switch back. In the hopes that that has healed Trevor and made him move to where I want him to move. Because it sets him to my health percentage. And because I'm at 100% HP, he should be at 100% HP. Damn, this is not a good case scenario. Trevor isn't moving. He's not attacking either. Yeah, Lamar's going to die. I'm going to get fucked. Ugh. The worst possible outcome. I still don't know why that happens. Sometimes Lamar will hang back, sometimes Trevor will hang back. Better Lamar than me, yeah, but now I'm back at the square one. Have to do all that again, all that risk. <sighs> I'm not going to throw grenades this time. Say so the grenades here seem so sensible. Because it hits cars, but... I'm always worried about disrupting Trevor. This set of enemies is a little bit too close for me to like killing them from here. Uh oh. It's not. Uh, you. Taking cover mechanics in this game are also not very good. I just want to move. I, that's not what I was doing. Okay. That is. I think it's because the blue fence fucks it up and the game doesn't know what you want to do. I wish I'd used the grenades. Are you. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, come on! Stop making me take cover on that wall! Trevor's flashing red. So I have to switch to him. Yeah. Same result's probably gonna happen, though. Just move up, Trevor. Maybe if I move to here, Trevor will be more likely to move up. Nope. I can shoot like this through the wall, though. This guy right in front of Trevor. Are you... Are you okay? O okay, game. Playing it that way, are we? Seems like very good cover, though. I'm legit just shooting through the wall. He did not die. That might be it. This might actually work as a strategy. I did not think in a million years that you could just shoot through a wall like that. I'm fairly certain this is done. Once more into the breach. Okay, now the fun begins. I throw... S okay, th first, there's an intentional mission fail here to warp everyone to me. Then I throw C4 onto Lamar's jet ski, which I'm pretty sure is the middle one. Then when this starts, I ult strat. Well, I don't really need to ult strat. This is, this is all just to remove the cops, basically. Because on rare cases, they aggro onto you. So when he's far enough away, blow him up. This despawns all the cops. And I hang back here with my micro SMG. Kill these guys. Now, I use the minigun and shoot down the helicopter. It's very important where I stand here. Very important. Get me a little bit too far. Okay. 
Now, I had problems last time with a random cop spawning. And if that same thing happens again, I'll just have to use ult and hope for the best because I have no strats for it. Oh my god, that almost hit me. I. Ba -da -ba -da. What is this helicopter again, man? What is this? Helicopters don't like old strat. It, it it doesn't work on them all the time. This this helicopter shouldn't be able to spawn. I'd give it like a ten percent chance I just die here. Okay, so I've lost the cops. I don't think that helicopter was ever actually in a position to shoot me, but it was close enough that, you know, it could have moved into such a position. Scary stuff. This has definitely been a very nerve-wracking run. Not clean at all. What's my actual job? I'm undercover. For the Australian FIB. 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 And I do voice cracks sometimes. People pay a lot of money for those voice cracks. <laughs> Only the highest quality voice cracks for my community. So we're doing Meriwether first. The strats for Meriwether now are really, really good. To the extent where I don't have to worry like I used to. There's still possibilities of death, but it's tiny compared to before. Don't do anything. Oh god, why does it do that? So this first part is basically meaningless because I can switch to Franklin and kill everyone. See, so yeah, all these guys just pick him off. They can't shoot me. Even if they tried to shoot me, they'd be too far away for the bullets to be out of reach me. It'd be very nerve-wracking doing this if I didn't have the heat sensor though. I'd have to hope I got them all. I suppose I, I, if that were the case, I'd count them. So this should be the last one. Hey, third bomb's in so the two strategies for the next scene. Well, first things first, I'm going to switch back to Franklin and reload. Basically, the enemies that are past these boxes, like here and back, they can't actually shoot me. They're, they're too far away. So I ignore the first two guys. Also, rather than shooting the drivers in the cars, which is what you do in the speed run to make things faster, uh, I shoot the passengers first. Because as long as the driver's alive, the car keeps driving and they, they can't shoot their guns. But not hitting the driver is very difficult. Ah. Crap, I'm dead. I'm actually dead. I got them both. Wait, who's live? He's live. He's coming closer. Okay. In my desire to miss the driver, I was missing the other shots. Like, I know it may not seem hard to avoid shooting a bullet through a car into a driver's foot, but it's harder than you might think. These guys were so far back, it, it was like a 50-50 chance that they were too far distant to be able to shoot me still. So none of these guys can shoot me, because they're too far away, but I should still not miss shots, but... but yeah, succeeded, so, you know. Knowledge is power, good strats are good. This is not a safe mission. The one time I got shot by a stray bullet in the back, um, just because that happened, I can never think of this as a perfectly safe mission, regardless of what strats I make. Okay, okay. So I'm not going to say much for a bit, I just want to focus. Let's 
person climbing up is there? Clear. Yeah, there is. He has to be my main priority right now. He didn't die. He just fell down completely. That really sucks. There's another one climbing too. It's really bad RNG. Um, they're running in weird patterns I've never seen before. Do I have time to progress? Can I just ignore these two? Now there's one coming up the normal path. The other one has gone down. Okay. The other one isn't climbing up. Let's go take out a few guys so the helicopter spawns. If I get the car, it makes it a lot easier for me. I'm not gonna get it. I got it. So with that dead, now Franklin um, and Michael are able to kill people. So the rest should just be killed very quickly. What happens though is roughly three guys, well exactly three or less guys will be um, left alive. They're stuck in spots so they're not going to go to uh, Michael or Franklin. Oh, they got him, okay. So it forces me to switch to Franklin and then I'm just going to use alt strat to get to um, the truck. Even though the two guys who are remaining on the map aren't in positions that are likely to shoot me, it's still just prudent to use ult. See, one's on the other side over there and the other one's even further down. They shouldn't be able to shoot me, but why take the risk? It was very fortunate that when those two guys were climbing up, it, it occurred in um, a, a lull where I didn't really need to do anything. Like I was the one who was going to determine whether we progress or not. There was a scene or two where if I leave it too long, the other characters can actually die. But it happened in one of the ones where I could just wait as long as I wanted to just to get them to come up. I'm not in any hurry. There's no reason to risk it. Okay, once more halfway through the game with zero deaths. This will be the third or fourth time I've done this, I think. Has Rocco ever managed to hit me first here? I don't think so. I don't know. No! Like, I don't think he's as bad as Simeon. But it's still concerning, you know. Maybe one day he will. I mean, Simeon didn't hit me first for a bajillion years, and then suddenly, you know. But he's good. Stays on the ground. So deep inside. A mission that I haven't failed on in a very long time, but still somewhat scary. I mean, any mission where I use alt strat always makes me nervous. It's so, and it's also, very, of course, very annoying moving that slow for so long. Let's go. Gonna run into our friend again. Or is he gonna dodge this time? Oh, he's stopping. No. I will take you with me. I will take you away from these terrible people in Hollywood. Get this guy too. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Oh, you're leaving me? Oh, wow. How dare you disrespect the help I was trying to give you. Is he gonna make it up? Nope. The breaking window shit. Look at that bullet hole in the back there. Oh my God. An They'll hit me one day. Oh They'll hit me one day. Oh Time for minor turbulence. A very, very scary mission. You might say that the mission causes some major turbulence. Ha ha ha. 
Aha. Eh Maybe they should have named that the mission. Okay. The reason why the combat MG is very important is because of how big the uh, magazine is there. Covers my hand completely. So yeah, you can do this thing where you look above and the little dot appears. And then you can fire perfectly on that dot when you click. The problem with this is sometimes it likes to shuffle you. See, uh, see, when I was on the wheel here, I pressed up and it shuffled me over. But it doesn't see it shuffled me over. For some reason, whenever you try to look over the top, sometimes it shuffles you in weird ways. And of course, when I don't want my body to be over the edge of the play thing I'm standing on, it can shuffle me into a place I don't want to be. What are the strats for this mission? Going into the plane, I have to use alt strat because there's a one in a trillion chance that I can actually be shot. Once in the plane, I'm using a combat MG that covers my hands. And I'm using this look strat that gives me a dot that enables me to fire with accuracy while in cover. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but that's basically it. This is still definitely nowhere close to free and very scary. Doing this while alt strat is active is really difficult. Flying is not easy with alt on. It just stops the guy from shooting. Thought I was going to miss for a second there. Come on. You better die. He died. He's reloading. Catching them as they're reloading is also very important. Heart's beating extraordinarily fast. I reloaded back there. Fuck. Okay. I oh, didn't die. Fuck. So, so nerve-wracking. I guess, ah, oh, God. Oh, this fucking tank top man's uncomfortable, dude. Is it actually uncomfortable? I'm just making excuses, man. I don't know. It does actually feel uncomfortable. Put on a dirty tank top off my floor, man. Anything to get an edge. If any little bit of additional comfort, you know. Comfort strats, guys, very important. Okay, I, brought my I had hoped. Drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. All right. I won't get anywhere near that. I t this happens all the time. It's rarely two cars, though. Surely that's completely stuck, right? I think the driver bailed and now the person's just stuck in there? There is that clip from a bajillion years ago where they run into the petrol station and blow me up. Okay. Tank, military hardware, K-Go. Pew! Pew! Hey, friendo. Oh, isn't that cute? He's trying so hard. Polito score. One of the hardest Oko missions in the game. One of the longest. Most intricate. I'm too nervous, Chad. I'm gonna fail. So I'm gonna be running back into the bank. And this is a lot harder than it looks turning around like this, in very slow motion. Controlling my character, and not touching the door, because if I touch the door, it closes, and then I can't go in. There was a C4 that I threw earlier. Go, I've lost it. Ah, fuck. 
and still make it. I love how the alarm sound isn't slowed down. <sighs> okay. Can they kill some of these guys, please? Uh, so what I need to do now is switch to Michael at a time when he isn't going to get shot. See how they're shooting? It means there's a guy there. But the guy keeps respawning, but there's... Sometimes he gets stuck. Or there's lulls. Like you just saw here. Okay. That's not what I want to do. Not sure how that happened. Must have moved my mouse ever so slightly. Not a huge deal. I gotta wait for Trevor. He's slowly coming. Very, very slowly. So when Trevor gets over the other side, uh, when he's in cover, I can switch to him. So all these guys on the map should basically just despawn when these two get around here. Yeah. So two stayed. I've never seen them move though or cause me problems. But having them there is always a concern to me. Um, so I'm gonna... Is he coming to me? Oh, he's actually there. Oh, shit. Hello? Uh, I have no idea what to do now. Okay, got him. Okay. Oh, he, 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 he ain't meant to do that. So, uh, I have to move up here just a bit to spawn the rest of the enemies and then come back. Watching the map to know when they spawn. Should be around here. Nope. Ah, uh, there we go. And so now I just wait forever. Is that guy going towards me? There's a guy right here. What? There should not be a guy here. Where is he? He's on the other side of the wall? There he is. That should be impossible. I can't move too far back or I mission fail. How did he not die to that? I think I'm just going to have to sit here for 10 minutes in one of the most nerve-wracking shootouts ever. I've never seen a guy come here. I've never seen that guy before be against the wall and I had to kill Everything here is weird. But it's not uncommon for this to take a really long time. He's moved over though. I'm going to try again. One grenade chat. Hold your nerve. Have you seen these guys? He's moving now. Oh. He disappeared. So he's dead. But I don't know if I actually killed him. I think I did, and that's why he moved, because the grenade exploded him. Uh they blew up a car, so that means um I should be getting closer to progressing. But again, it's possible because the guy is alive behind me that, that won't happen or something. Okay, here we go. Again, guys, always remember that killing unnecessary guys with explosives, even if there's a 1% chance I die, I still shouldn't do it because it's unnecessary. So a few grenades to kill these trucks. And sniping through here. So enemies infinitely spawn in the corner here. I can find myself a line where I can actually shoot them though. And if I kill enough, I can progress. Oh, 
That should be enough. Oh, no. There we go. Happily, the Franklin section is easy because I can just take this route so none of the enemies spawn. I can see my favorite little thing hitting down the fences. <laughs> oh, I didn't get them all in one go. Shoot. Thank you. And this guy here. Where is he? Let him. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh, over here. F There's a ride. Ah, uh, that guy is meant to have left. That's weird. Considering that the game glitched, I'm gonna use Alt Strat here. I shouldn't need to. The 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 tank is programmed to miss, and that there was a different glitch makes me think the entire scene is glitched. So I'm just gonna use Alt Strat. Just for additional safety, that, that that shot won't hit me. Th those, those are perfectly normal shots, guys. Perfectly scripted to miss, exactly normal. But in very slow motion, they look very scary. This next thing is the newest strat for this section. It's a strat with Franklin. Let's hope fire doesn't cause me issues and I don't fuck myself. Got them both first try. Now let's hope they don't run into fire and die. There's no fire. Nice, 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 nice. Move forward. Guys, move forward. Please move forward without me going. Okay, there you go. So there's a tiny chance I can get shot here, but in practice it looked like I had to help. They can get this guy, I'm pretty sure. It just takes a long time. They're taking longer than they normally do. Moving closer will not cause them to move forward. They'll only move forward when um, he's dead or I um, move all the way up. Usually this guy um, is stuck in the other room. I'd rather just give it a minute to see if they solve the problem themselves rather than trying to help. Because I could help. I could get this quite easily when he ducks down. How you holding up, kid? I'll be cool when we out of this. So this is the hard part. Ah, uh, you can't, you can't tell me this. He's really run into the other room. Oh no. Homies, I'm holding them. Where you at? I spawned the extra. Oh, that's even worse. I fucked myself. And the other guy's still in the other room. God damn, this sucks. He's still in there. <laughs> He's still in the other room. Oh my god. Wow, I'm surprised that I actually got him. That's really surprising. With that now done, we run all the way around. Making sure not to use too much stamina, but also don't jump myself to death. Climbing up here is scary because you can barely make this climb. And jumping into the wall or something will be death. I don't know what controls, whether it wants to let you up or not. It just, just will do it sometimes. Okay, not too far left, man. Not too far left. Have to do this explosion. Not too late, but not too early. I missed one. 
How did they miss one? Oh no. Did they get him? Looks like they got him. That's con that was concerning. How the fuck did he survive? These are the important ones not to miss though. Think I got them? Think I got them all? Yes. Woo! Okay. We are back. Tying my best pace ever. <sighs> so first things first. We don't take the speedrun routes. We follow the line. On the speedrun route, there's a bunch of bikers that shoot and kill you immediately. Lost two good runs that way. I will admit to you this, I don't normally have to deal with this kind of pressure. Don't have a lot of experience with it. When I think of Armada, once upon a time the greatest uh, melee player, who quit in part because he didn't like having to deal with the stress of the melee tournaments, I was like, that seems kind of a weak reason to quit. But whenever I'm under pressure, I'm like, okay, I get it. I fucking get it. And this isn't even, you know, on the same stakes. I've done this first part thousands of times. Okay, well... Get, well I, just, I just missed the C4 there, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. This part I've done thousands of times. He said the line. Okay. I fucking can't see. Yeah. Then you got a first try. Oh. That wasn't even because I failed. That's never happened before. Testing the proximity mines, I had to do this strat like maybe 50 times. That never happened. So I'm shooting at the shooter on the helicopter that time. So don't let that keep you. Had never been necessary before, but I guess it's necessary now. Okay. When you are as used to failure as I am, you need to just pick yourself up and continue. Got them both. Perfect. Of course I would do that perfectly, in the one run where it doesn't matter. Guess I'll know for next time to aim at the drive- uh, the- the shooter. I don't have an RPG. That's gonna make this even slower now. Maybe not really. Like he had, like, two frames to hit me. That shooter. Cause he's- he's out of range the vast majority of the time, and then even when he starts shooting, he can only start shooting at a certain point, and he shot just as the helicopter exploded. We'll have our Whoa. one death Man, okay run. Fuck. 
This mission's also kind of scary. I'm going to try letting Steve kill the first two guys when we get to the actual shootout place and then do my normal strats. It's very hard to do that first room because the guys are already prepped to shoot and the cover isn't very good. So I just realized uh, I still don't have an RPG, which I normally use for this mission. It's probably not strictly necessary though. It just means I'll have less assistance for Dave and Steve. So it's this first room that is the most concerning. See, because the doors... Are... Steve! Okay. Steve can kill these guys himself, um, but anything I do to try and help puts me at risk, and I don't think the risk is worth it. Last time round, I died like twice in this room. The, me, again, the odds of being hit, very low. The problem though, is that Steve takes more damage the longer that we sit here. Especially because I don't have the RPG, so I can't take out the, the two or three guys that I normally do. St uh, Steve's health is actually quite important. It is conceivably possible I can shoot through the wall though. How about I try, how about I see if I can? I don't think I can. Uh, is that a hole there that I made? May I can, okay, so I can. I mean, you think I would have hit him by now. You can see my shots on the wall there. I got him. Okay. Well, that's a, that's a, that's a strat, I guess. Wait, I don't have a grenade launcher either? I should have just reset. And got a grenade launcher. <laughs> I just spawned them all. I'm just gonna have to reset and get them. Can the sniper strat work in other scenes? So the problem with the sniper strat is, in most cases, where the wall is thin enough, your hands are still free. So you can be shot in the hand. And again, as you may have noticed, your accuracy is not particularly high. So any situation where you need to be quick, it's not very good. Okay, we are back. Fuck, I gotta watch out for Steve. I don't want to move over because it flings me over. Oh. Okay. Gotta be quick. Okay. I rarely get this next one. Got him. These next ones, though, I think I'll leave to Dave. I don't need to, though. But if I, if I only had zero deaths, I would. You see, he gets them eventually. Wow, really? Okay. Now the fire starts. Cool. Please just stop and don't just spread uncontrollably. Why? It's take five, everyone. Take five. Everything is not fine, chat. Okay. Didn't get the second one. Dave will get him eventually. Get him, Dave. Thank you. Shot's annoying to do. Okay. Good luck, Dave and Steve. Steve getting wrecked. Cool, cool, cool. They're definitely gonna die. I don't be 
How have they killed, like, no one? I hate you, Steve. They killed no one. Like, I've never seen him fight that badly. Uh. So you go first, Steve, so you don't push me out of the way, you lazy fuck. Got them both. Cool, cool, cool. He's out in the open. Literally. He has no cover. Thank you. He's still trying. He's still hanging in there. Now he still wants more. Finally. Okay, do better, Steve. Are you... Okay. A chance to kill him there, and uh, all my bullets hit the wall. Nice. Okay, day is moving up. Okay. The guy is still there. I will get that guy so easily. Or not. So there's two more, I think. I don't know where they are, though. Back there. That one's always there. And Dave eventually beats him. This guy, though, on the right. So may as well just move up with ult, I guess, but... Where is he? He's just behind those boxes there, I guess. Hey, he's not just not popping up. Am I correct? Apparently. That's unfortunate. Really? Impressive. Finally. I'd be more nervous about doing that kind of stuff, except, you know, I've already died once, so... <sighs> so we're on to bury the hatchet, which was a very stressful mission, but now with the new ledge grab delayed glitch thing, shouldn't be too hard. Like, obviously, the levitation thing that I did before was a good strat, but it did still have that 20% chance whatever I take one damage. So this is far safer. Although, I think if I'm slow with it to get into the car, I can actually be shot. But that only happened once in practice. And that was like when I was taking my damned ass time getting in the car, so it should be fine. To explain what a buffered ledge grab is, basically what you're doing is getting into cover, bringing up your phone, and then pressing the buttons that would normally correspond with you climbing a ledge. Because your phone's up, the game can't process that command, and so stores it. Now, as long as you keep your phone up, or you stay in cover, it continues to keep that ledge grab in its memory. And so the second you either move out of cover or put down your phone, it activates that ledge grab. And so you warp back to the place that you initially buffered the ledge grab. Normally you can't take a buffered ledge grab through a cutscene because it puts down your phone or you're not in cover when the cutscene ends. But in Bury the Hatchet, after the cutscene plays, Michael is actually in cover. And because Michael's still in cover, the buffered ledge grab from before the cutscene is still stored. So then the second you get out of cover, it warps you back to where you put the buffered ledge grab. But yeah, this is the first time I've ever, I'll have done this in a, in a run. It's also possible to lose the buffered ledge grab by stumbling. So I need to not stumble. So out of this car right now, I go like this, go like this. Okay, just... So this is a buffer ledge grab, guys. And that's what I'll be doing to warp myself back to the car, basically. So keeping my phone up, keeps it as long as possible. And while my phone will go down when I go into the cutscene, because I'll be in cover after the cutscene, I'll be fine. Oh, 
Oh, taking my time. That guy's coming. That guy's coming. Okay. Whew. That easy. I did not invent this strat. It was invented by Twisted Tamer for the purposes of speedrunning. It just so happens to also work for Oka. Amazing strat. As much as I liked my levitation strat, you can see how this strat is a little bit more superior. <laughs> Although the one who found buffered ledge grab was uh, Justice. Or rather found how to get it, make it work on PC. So Pac-Man as a mission is actually a little bit scary. When the cops assault me when I'm driving the cars on the trailer, they can actually shoot me. Usually, as long as they don't get in front of me, I'm fine. But we've had a handful of times where they've just started randomly firing and I haven't been able to kill them with the spikes and stuff. Let's see what happens. What I'm doing here is uh, abandoning the truck once they get access to Franklin. It warps me to the other side of the freeway and it just seems to be a better place to deal with the cops. Never seen this car actually chase after me. Oh, there it goes. Having fun down there, sport. That wasn't exactly what I wanted to do, but. So there's an intentional mission fail. It's warping me to the side. Why is the where's the cop in front of me? Okay. So I'm first person ducking right now. Whenever the animation goes off, um it, it prevents me from ducking. So they should follow directly after the truck and me. So I should be able to get them all. But the bad time is when they drive over the spikes but don't die. And this turns a bit hard too. Yeah, it's very clean, very clean. Other than that first car being in front of the truck at the beginning. But then again, as I could go to the right of the truck, I was safe, so. It's good strats. So I need to make sure I have everything. I gotta start going to different ammunitions because this guy is really fucking annoying. So nothing's really changed here on fresh meat. It's just a matter of having the C4 and the proximity mines in the right places. And then hoping that the guys don't shoot Trevor, uh, don't shoot Michael on the side. There was like two guys and similar to Nervous Ron, one of them can shoot me, I think, before I'm able to shoot him. But the angle he has to get is so goddamn perfect. It's like around a small bit of metal into my foot. Kind of thing. So, this is all the same. Aggro those guys. Um, what did we decide on was the reason why this doesn't work sometimes? May I need to not hold shift? Yeah, I think it's hold nothing while I'm actually climbing. Three, four, five, six, twelve... 13. Okay. That's beautiful. They need to shoot him. He's pushing that body. And then I fucked the easier guys. That was that. So need to wait until Michael's closer so they all spawn. Sorry, boys. This is my ride. 
Um, apparently this guy was closer than I thought he is. So there should just be with this one guy here. Like, Michael will eventually get him. Shame he's in a spot where I can't just, like, clip him or whatever. Like, there's a thousand different ways I can kill him with a tiny amount of risk to me, but... Oh, and now, now he approaches. He's still ain't dead. Yeah, there we go. Little bit of a mistake, but not a lethal one. Is there a guy out here? There is a guy out there. Somewhere. I did it again. Why can't I just not park well? I would just take the orange car, but with uh, that guy being in the back there somewhere. What do I know about Iowa? Iowa nothing to nobody. <laughs> so, we established before that the cops can actually shoot me uh, as I go by them, so we're just going to avoid them a lot. But it's not a big deal. In a speedrun, of course, it's very important that I go, oh, there's a cop there. Okay. Right, I forgot that on that particular street corner, for no fucking reason, there is always a cop 100% of the time. Yeah, well, a lot of the time. I mean, like, why? Guess I should go respray paint my car. Could just go underground? I mean, jumping down here, small chance of dying, I suppose, but not really. No need to respray. Took my time. I think Firefighter might actually be my least favorite mission in the game. Ah, for Oko. Like the actual getting at the fire truck and doing the highest itself. So let's hope I don't get screwed getting this. Thank you. I hear it somewhere. There it is. They didn't not give me the cops. Ah. That count? Ah. Oh. Well, that is the first and only time it didn't give me the place. But then it gave me the place. But I had already finished the mission. Weird. I am really afraid that when I try to leave here, it's going to give me the cops back and I'm going to die. It didn't happen. I cheated the system there. Get wrecked, game. Oops, 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 oops. Forgot to blow up the thing. There we go. Oh no. Right, he's, he's really kicking my body there. Thank you, man. So, here's why this is my least favorite mission for Oko, really. I would say, I mean, it can't be called my least favorite because I don't die here very frequently, but this much use of the ult strat is extraordinarily annoying. Um, more than this, though, this isn't free because they can melee me. So at all times, I'm like sweating bullets going, is he gonna, is he moving? Is he gonna move that? Oh my god. Like, it, I, I don't like this feeling. I hate it. Ah, 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 See, this is very, very, very concerning. Don't stand in the door. He stands in the door. Oh my god, he moved over. I'm fucked. I'm actually dead. Oh, he didn't melee. Hurry. That guy always likes to melee. Let's take a wide run around him here. Oh, okay, he's coming close to me. Oh, oh god. I'm gonna duck between. Mm, 
Jessica. I use meleeing. Oh god, that's not good. That's really bad. Mm, okay. I never know here if I want to go around this guy far or close. I mean, he's really close in, so... Oh god. Go to the warm Franklin, please. I can't turn my camera so I can't, like, see what he's doing, you know. Oh, he's going for it. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh! 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 <laughs> if I was a little bit taller, I would have been dead. Ah, that's that guy is very concerning. God damn. I'm just thinking if it's worth trying to find some strat to deal with that guy because he's yeah he did kill me that one time I don't know. You can I'm I'm just envisioning a world where I'm on zero deaths and I get to that guy and that hit doesn't miss me. I do an Australian accent. Crikey, going up to the servo. You want to come down round Sati? Good. That's not a knife. This is a knife. That's not a knife, that's a spoon. Alright, you win. Guess you played knifey spoony before. This guy doesn't like speaking ill of the departed. It is a pretty good movie. <laughs> so we now gotta go buy myself a car. Uh, no, it's not here. It's a uh, legendary and it's down here. We be Batman. GTA 5 really makes you feel like you're Batman. So the reason why I'm getting this car is because the back is bulletproof. This makes me a little bit safer for the next two missions. Legal trouble and the wrap up. Uh, whoops. So this always screws up Molly. Yeah, I should stop doing it. Probably don't really need to do it. This just makes things annoying. That way. Yes, good job. So there's uh, one dude on the right. Wait, what's the... Oh, there it is. There's one dude on the right, and just because that one dude, I have the ult strat. No helicopter, that's good. Should spawn in just a moment though. Oh, actually no helicopter. That's very rare. Oh, already lost the cops. Even rare. Man, without this $750,000 car, I never would have made it out of here alive. Pretty dumb to go behind that cop car, really. I could just uh, avoid the cops like normal rather than going to get the sprayed. Uh, oh no, I have to respray away from... Well, I guess it's chrome now. That sucks. Boo! No longer feeling like Batman. Now I feel like Bruce Wayne! I'm so fucking shiny. Have to reload the game uh, to make sure I can use ult on this mission. So my car's gonna spawn uh, over there for me later. Uh, ult strat I think I've seen violated here once. Newspapers, celluloid, good guys, bad guys. Let's go, Mikiel. Stops me here randomly every time to switch my weapon. What if that guy one day uh, melees me? How terrible would that be? Okay.
Killing these guys is pointless. Um, they just respawn. I just need to focus on uh, getting Michael to move. Are you ba 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 ba? Oh, I missed one. Ah, oh, that's not good. Okay. Who's he shooting at? Who's he shooting at? Oh. Being able to aim with this yeah, this white dot makes this so much easier than it used to be. Why I'm killing everyone? I'm carrying this team. Oh, the helicopter, they're, they're not up there, that's weird. Uh, who's alive? Ah, oh, this is bad. Uh-oh. This is actually really, really bad. So there's one guy alive. I have no idea where he is. Oh, he's right up there. See him up there? The one thing you do not want to happen here is for it to force you to switch and there be one guy alive. For some reason, it switches you whenever there's one guy left alive. But usually you hope that they both die around the same time. But it didn't happen here. I'm trying to get into a spot where I can line aside him. Looks like I'm fine. I'm going to hold ult all the way until I'm out the door. They're the longest use is uh, the wrapper. Oh, sorry, the, the bureau raid. Okay. So now we wait for Dave to leave. Then I take my car. And then I uh, outrun the helicopter. Bye, Davey. So this yellow dot usually disappears, then reappears immediately because I've outdistanced the helicopter far enough. Another chopper. Yep. Love this strat. So clean. So very, very clean. So we want to be Trevor first to get the tank to give to Franklin. Here we are. Here's my tank. Better save just to make sure I don't lose the tank in some weird accents. Let us hope that uh, Trevor has not gotten too far. Hey, Trevor. It looked like you were creeping on me, bro. Whoa, I was not. Absolutely. Can't risk Trevor killing me like he did that one time. Love you, Trevor. I would never kill you under normal circumstances. Oh, he disappeared. He's a wizard! Where did I grow up? On Earth. Temporarily. Oh, you mean more specifically? In a house. In a country. In a suburb. So I'm not going to hit the yellow dot. I'm just going to go down here and kill everyone. It's raining, which is not normal. LD, where you at? Shit, oh no, not snipers. 
Whatever it is I'm gonna do. And now we wait for Trevor to finally get here. Ahem. Can't really see anything. Oh, there was another guy back there. You get him, it's fine. And now we wait for Trevor to kill this last guy. Is he seated? Good. About goddamn time. Hey, Lamar. Hey, Lamar. Back into the tank I go. Getting out of here is kind of finicky. Especially when I don't want to go anywhere near the enemies. So I just need to kill the eight guys here. Uh, okay. Now I just need to get out of here. When I mission fail, it would despawn all the enemies. I knew uh, that I could go because he said, I'll go get Lamar. And there we have it. Easy peasy. Just have one more very long drive to go. What is next? Meltdown. Which is uh, nerve-wracking for different reasons. Okay, Meltdown. Going to make sure that I have- I guess I could have just pulled over and checked if I had all the proximity mines and stuff. Which I probably do. I'm just gonna go to this store anyway. Since I'm on the way. Okay, uh... Okay, I have them all, so this is completely pointless. Whatever. All right, Jimmy, you gotta hide. So, this shouldn't be too hard, right? There's no real reason I should ever fail this. Okay. Where are they, what? Oh. Oh, what? That was strange. My movement got kind of screwed up there, so I, I bailed rather than risking getting shot by the guy. I don't know if this guy will actually come inside, which is annoying. I don't really want to go back. Crap, he didn't die. Okay. Show's over, uh oh. Uh oh. Um, well, hope that other mine doesn't kill me. Okay. So, oh, oh, ah, uh, uh, what, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, it gave me fucking hard, Okay, so no more guys spawn until I go back into the house. So I have all the time in the world to chuck these here, and I think here is fine. There's one over here somewhere. Huh. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Good strats. I forgot, I forgot I made new strats to make this easier. Very good. So, I need to make sure to deck out Trevor here. Before I go inside. Despite all the testing, I still have not found a way to prevent Trevor from having a chance of being shot immediately at the beginning of Big Score. That and the drive itself are the two 
biggest potential fails on this mission. And now at long last, the last mission, to see if I get a PB or not, the big score. I'm super fucking tired. We're about to hit 10 hours. Let's go. Should probably be uh, not massaging my neck and actually focusing on the driving, but eh. Eh. Hurry the fuck up. I can't imagine how I would feel if I had no deaths here. Slowly walking through this, man. The suspense. It kills me. Bleh. Who would have fun walking slowly through a bank after they failed their run? Of course I don't enjoy it. It's like my walk of shame. What, I meant to enjoy getting this close to greatness and missing it? Fuck off. You're not smiling enough, Matt! Fucking smile! As I say, there's just a small chance here that Trevor gets his hands hit. It, it, what, it missed? What a hit! What? That missed as well? That's really bad. Oh, those missed too. It, it. How are these not dying? That was the fastest that's ever gone, except what happened to those rockets? Um, oh okay. crap. Um, maybe I shouldn't have done this this early. I'm dead. Okay, we're not- we should not have done this this early. Obviously I'm ducking to hide my head. Maybe this early is not a great move. They're spawning closer to me than they normally do. I'm gonna die. I'm not normally this close to the enemies. There aren't normally cars here. I can't fucking see anything. Okay. This could not really have gone worse for me. Making this turn... It's going to be impossible. I experienced this before. I'm not even accelerating right now. This is the new strats for this section. Somehow, I think I prefer the old strats. The helicopter up there can technically shoot me. Um, so I'm just going to ult all the way. When I'm ducked down there's so little of me that is visible while in this car that the odds of me being shot is astronomical or whatever, right? At the same time, running into cop cars and giving them more of a chance to shoot me is clearly not what I want to do. That's a nice shot you did. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Um, so I guess maybe shooting that guy is still a better move than this. If he can just ignore ult like that and fire. And don't get me wrong, he wasn't super close to hitting me, but he was in the ballpark. Hey, this driver sucks, man. This PB is so bittersweet. If I had just been firing slightly to the left on derailed, had that guy waited a nanosecond longer to fire, had he not fired at all, which is the normal case of affairs. Potentially, had I been a millimeter back, so many things had to be perfectly bad, perfectly against my favor, for me to have died and derailed in the way that I did. I'm just concerned 
that the gulf between one and zero is huge. That this isn't gonna be like, you know, I just start another run a couple of days from now and I get it immediately. It's gonna be like 20 runs from now or some shit. It was a one hit run. <laughs> I guess it was a one hit run, sure. Michael's ending, of course, you'd always take damage. The third way is extraordinarily difficult. So of course the Trevor ending is the way to go. <sighs> Trevor, Trevor, Trevor. If you'd just not gotten hit by that bullet, I would have got zero deaths. You deserve to be burnt alive. <sighs> PB, the last non-perfect PB that can ever be. Let's see how long it takes me to get that perfect run, guys. Let us see. This is satisfying, but still, would have rather had had that perfect run, you know. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It costs you nothing and I wish you all the best.